So let's go ahead and complete our three statement model following step by step. The very first step, as we discussed, is to derive historical information from the financial statements of the company and calculate the totals. Let's go ahead and do that. We already filled up historical information for the company for you. All we need to do is calculate the totals. So let's do it for income statement first. My gross profit will be revenue minus cost of goods sold. I like the formula and I'm going to fill it to the right with control R shortcut. My total expenses, I'm going to sum up all the line items above, such as selling general and administrative expenses, research and development expenses, depreciation and amortization, and interest expenses. To calculate that total, I used ALT equals shortcut. Beautiful. Let's fill it to the right and calculate my income before income taxes, which is my gross profit minus total expenses. Again, filling it to the right and going to the line item net income, which is my income before income taxes minus provision for income taxes. Great job. We just calculated all the totals for income statement and completed it. Now we are going into the balance sheet calculations and first we will calculate total assets my assets listed here are cash accounts receivable inventory and property plant and equipment i'm going to sum it up with alt equals and fill it to the right for my liabilities accounts payable and debt will be summed up and next, the sum of my equity capital and retained earnings will give me shareholders' equity. Next step is to calculate total liabilities plus shareholders' equity and check if my balance sheet is balancing meaning that total assets equal total liabilities and shareholders equity and i'm going to use the formula total assets minus total liabilities and shareholders equity which should give me zero if the balance is balancing let's go ahead and check it i have the zero for the first historical year i'm going to fill the formula to the right and i can see that my balance sheet is balancing for all historical years Great job. Now I can move to the step number two and fill up my cash flow statement. 